Hey guys, Khali from Cricket Fanatics magazine here and I'm here at Newlands for the four day series. A great experience today, there were quite a few fans, so I'm calling all of you guys to come and watch the rest of this game. It's going to be quite a tight one. Western Province batted really well today, thanks to this man right here next to me and a couple of other guys, but I'm going to start with you Tony. Tony, first and foremost, you must be very tired. How are you feeling currently? It was hot here today. Yeah, I was uh, very, very tired. Um, I was saying to our trainer that, that lost a bit of weight and I'm still getting cramps so I think it's a bit overrated um, but yeah obviously like I said I'm quite tired um, it was uh, a, a tough start and then obviously was able to, to bat long. So what sort of things do you do with the physios etc to recover from a knock like this? Uh, I think we'll have ice baths later um, we did it like those uh, what are those, those massage guns we did a um, compression uh, pants thing um, that he has the machine which is really nice actually quite fancy I'm getting abused for sitting in it though but it's it's all right I don't really mind I need to recover my legs are heavy <laughs> so let's talk about the surface this morning you, yourself and Eddie put on an amazing knock I want to first know what was that like to bat with him now in the middle after the slow start I mean you didn't go do so well in the first match but now I mean 163 what a knock um, what was key to it and what was the conditions like was it easy to bat on was it quite tricky in the morning um, like I said a bit earlier, I think they, 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 they left the stumps a bit too early. Um, there's definitely something in it there when they bowled straight. I think Kwesi showed that in the morning when myself and Eddie played and missed hardest as well, went through us a few times. So I think there was definitely something for the guys on the line of the stumps. They just maybe, I think, like I said, went a bit wide too, too early. Um, and then I think it's really nice to always bat with Eddie. He's a fighter. Um, he's always going to keep you... Um, entertained and keep you like uh, wanting to stay in the fight so it's really nice to bat with him um, and then to bat with Scorsi towards the end is always easy because he's always trying to move the game forward um, and you can just kind of do your own thing so yeah it was it was nice partnerships to have um, and hopefully our bowlers can show like I said that there is definitely something in it for the bowlers when you kind of hitting the stumps and bringing all these mo modes of dismissal in yeah do you feel that your re your relationships with him or their partnerships with him actually opened you up a little bit more as well to expand a little bit more I think, yeah, I think with Eddie, it's it, like I said, you, you're going to have someone who's fighting there with, with you on the other side so that yeah. you, it brings that out in you. And then when Scolzi, you, you know, you've done the dirty work, you've got to 80, 90, and he's coming in, he starts playing shots. Yeah. Maybe then you think, hey, I can match it and join the party here. Yeah. Um, which actually, in, in, a, in a sense, you've got to stick to your normal game plan, what got you to 80, 90 in the first place. So yeah. it's important to be able to like ride that momentum with him and then also rein yourself back in when you, when you have to. Do you feel that this can be a kickstart to your season now, and and can you so you can get more consistency? How do you do you refocus now and, and then think about the next inning? Yeah, well, I think if we, I mean, the goal is to obviously push this as much as we can, and maybe only bat once or a few overs in the next uh, innings. Uh, it really, just depends how the game goes. Um, yeah, like you said, it was a slow start, a shocking run out, <laughs> but I, I won't speak about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just like I said, I'm grateful that I was able to get some runs today. You keep your feet on the ground and then you just try push forward for the next one I think how it first starts is you want to get through the new ball for the team and myself and Eddie were able to do that mm -hmm. and then you just push on from there hopefully so what are the goals I mean we know SAA last season of course and I mean I've been pushing you you know to go for that the next step and taking that next step we, we we are really looking I think South Africa is really looking for top order batters and middle order batters in general we, we're struggling in the batting department what are your goals for this season um, with regards to yourself and your personal goals I think, like I said, when we've spoken before, there's a lot of things outside of your control, so you can't really... Those those types of goals and dreams everyone has, yeah. um, and they will happen when they're supposed to. I think for now, like I said, do my job, bat at the top of the order, see off the new ball, and then when you get a chance to go big, try your best to do that, and do that as con as many times as possible. And after that, I mean, it's in God's hands or whoever else. So, Can you give some tips to youngsters on, on scoring big? Ashul Prince said last year to me that when you're batting big, or going for centuries, think beyond the century, not the, don't think about the century mark, just think beyond it, try to score 120, 130, etc. Is that a, a technique that you use or something that goes in your mind or how do you think about your innings and set it up in your head? Um, when I was younger, I obviously used to look at the runs and stuff like that in red ball cricket and I think sometimes that would make me go looking for runs yeah. when sometimes you didn't really have to and it's actually more about, especially when you're opening, about occupying the crease yeah. and spending time there. I remember um, uh, when I spoke to Cookie about it, Stephen Cook, he always used to say it's more, runs will come but as an opener it's time, spending time out there and then batting with Aiden a few times when I was still at the Titans, he used to have like time goals so he would say like he wants to bat for half an hour or ten minutes wow. or five minutes so he used to look at it like that, never used to look at it, his own score and I used that technique or that way of going about it today and for the last couple of years or trying to look at the time and 
like I said, occupying the crease and making that my goal, the runs will eventually come. Awesome, Tony. Thanks a lot and good luck for the rest of the game. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, man. Sure. That was